Iraq is probably the biggest non-governmental organization in the world, but that's not the only reason that it's unique. That's unique, unique in itself, but I think it's probably one of the best organizations as well. It's working in health, it's working in education, it, it practically invented microenterprise, but it goes way beyond microenterprise, and it now goes way beyond Bangladesh, where it started. They're now the biggest NGO in Afghanistan, they're in Tanzania, they're in Sudan, Uganda, Sierra Leone, Liberia. It's got 70,000 health workers, it's got 38,000 primary schools. Last year it loaned a billion dollars in Bangladesh alone in microfinance. It's just an incredibly varied organization, it's incredibly large and it's incredibly successful. But microfinance is only, for them, a means to an end you're not going to get anybody out of poverty by lending them $25. They have to have new opportunities, new productive opportunities to, 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 to use their money on. And BRAC has provided those. 80% of what they now do is self-financing. And this makes them almost completely unique. I don't, think there's, I don't think there's an NGO anywhere in the world that is self-financing in the way BRAC is. CARE, World Vision, Oxfam, they all depend on donations for for 100% of, of what they do. BRAC, only 20%. I've known BRAC since 1972 when it began and when I went to Bangladesh first as a, as a, as a young field staff officer working for, for CARE. And I've seen BRAC over the years. I've worked with them in a variety of ways. And I think it's one of the best development stories in the world. I've written a lot about development and a lot of the stuff that I've written has been fairly critical and sometimes negative. This is a good news story. And it's a big story. It's very positive, and there's just so much to learn from what BRAC has accomplished.